But tonight, the Tar Heels face a tough test in Ohio and a tough man in Brandon Hunter. From the Dean Smith Center in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. This is Judgment Week, presented by AT&T Long Distance, the Bobcats of Ohio, against the Tar Heels of North Carolina. Good evening, everybody. Mike Patrick, Brad Darty. It's great to have you with us. Any other season, this would be a midwinter diversion for North Carolina and a great opportunity for Ohio. Still a big opportunity for Ohio, but it's certainly not just a diversion for the Tar Heels anymore. You're exactly right, Mike. Ohio comes in a very, very good basketball team. Tim O'Shea said this is a huge game for his program. They think they can come in and win this basketball game. And I'll tell you what, if you haven't seen Brandon Hunter play, you're in for a treat. He is unbelievable inside, extremely strong, powerful. North Carolina, buckle up your boots, baby. They're going to come after you tonight. Get ready. It's an interconference matchup between the MAC and the ACC, back with the tip from Chapel Hill in a moment. Slow-mo to jump center against Chris Lang, Ohio controls, knocked out of bounds to the Bobcats. And here's who the teams will put on the floor. Esther Camp, good outside shooter, Hunter, Flomo up front, Kiko and Crawford, the guards, Capel Lang, Manuel, Boone is as thin a center as you'll ever see. 6'9", 205. Three-point shot by Jason Crawford. Won't go. Hunter offensive rebound. And Ohio gets the first bucket as we've played nearly two and a half minutes. Good shot. You missed that shot. Sure. Type of touches. That's fine. Oh, oh. Good first sticker. Morrison, the most athletic guard North Carolina has blocked by Flomo. Flomo does a nice... Esther Camp continues to have his outside shooting struggle. Esther Camp from the corner. And Esther Camp gets squared up. Shoulders, uh, he just flat looks good shooting that basketball. He sure does. He hit... They're going to trap you get that corner. Got their big lineup in there now. Morrison is a good outside shooter. At times he's spectacular. Flomo again. Running the club gives him some size outside at 6-5. Nice pass. Woo! And there's Hunter. Woo! Man! I'm telling you what. Clear out. Gonna get some hard hats there if you're gonna let him catch the ball that deep. Bobcats have scored seven straight to go up 17-10. Man, they're just out playing North Carolina. Watch him step in here. Good pump fake. Back with his right hand. Boy, that's power. That is power. Where that big fella? I ain't mad at you. Woo! It's a pretty good basketball team. Man. And Matt Darty obviously disappointed and more. You can't let, you can't be dominated like you inside. Don't stay there. That's a good pass. Manual. Oh, what a block by Flomo. That's three. Boy, he just came out of nowhere. Weak side help. I mean, Flomo comes completely across the floor here, makes that block. I mean, that's excellent. That's just awesome basketball. That is awesome. Boy, great the way it's going to be, but I don't think he can block Chris Lane's hook shot. Hunter for three. That makes up for those missed free throws. Brandon Hunter with nine. Now, how can a guy that can hit a 20-footer... He's got to take care of the ball. Give himself a good opportunity. Hunter kicks it outside. Sanderson, good outside shooter, and he buries it. He's number 10 all-time on Ohio's three-point list, and he's only played there two years. A lot of screens, a lot of back picks. Running guys up to the elbows to catch the basketball. Hunter will wow. another three. That was very deep. I mean, what kind of threat do you become? And we're at the half in Chapel Hill, where Ohio is leading at North Carolina, 33 to 29. The Bobcats shoot 41 percent in the first half, 46 percent from beyond the arc. Steps out. Look at this. Watch this. That's 6'7", 270, with a stroke of a butterfly, baby. They got to get after him. He's come to play. Like I said, when he got comfortable, he's going to be a problem. Flomo retrieves the loose ball. Esther Camp for three. Got the stroke. Wow. I tell you, Mike, these cats are shooting that basketball. They're getting confident. I mean, it's your man. You help out, then you hustle back. Right now, Ohio making the Tar Heels look bad as Scott hits a three. Six for Scott, and it's 45-35. Hunter to Flomo. 
good pass, good basketball. Very much. They want North Carolina to prove they can shoot the ball. They don't think they can. Hunter for three. Got it. Man, we got to get this guy on TV more, Mike. He deserves it, doesn't he? I'm telling you what, he is spectacular. He guys like a flomo. Exactly. Man, he'll eat you alive. You got to back up into him. Get his body on body. Than ever. Lost more games in the conference than ever. Lost more games at home than ever. And Hunter is adding to the misery. Six. And now North Carolina trying to apply, apply some pressure. Back to a cut and a great. The miss by Johnson. Patrick Flomo! Man! 69-53. Williams baseline. Flomo now with seven rebounds in the game. And Capel, double team, leads. Flomo with another big swat. I'll tell you, Mike, the guy who has really been impressive outside of Hunter is this kid right here, Patrick Flomo. Shot off. Oh, just cleans it up. Cleans it up. Sonny Johnson misses. Capel goes up, pump fake, pump fake. Uh-uh, no, no, no. Here we go. Here we go. 73-70. Hunter wants a clear out. The pass. Oh, nice by Hunter to Flomo. I mean, Hunter just took, he waved everyone off. Out to Ohio. Boy, that shows you the leadership of a Brandon Hunter. Who sees it coming apart, says, get out of the way, give me the ball, watch this. I mean, look at that. Look at the speed. Look at and there. Our AT&T Long Distance Service Player of the Game, Steve Esterkamp, the 6'6 junior from Cincinnati, who broke out of a scoring slump in a big way tonight. 23 points, 6 rebounds, hit 9 out of 12 field goals. Wow. Well, North Carolina made a big run. They cut an 18-point lead down to 4, but couldn't get it over the hump, and they will go to 7 and 17, the worst record in the history of the program. Yeah, wonderful play. Kangaroo kid. Wonderful play. Hats off to Ohio. They come into Chapel Hill on the road, and they have struggled on the road lately. And they get a big, big win for them. They'll go to 16 and 8. Enjoying this one. And somebody was saying something earlier. Three or four years, you look back in the Ohio press guide, yeah. it'll say, win at Chapel Hill. Whenever they play them again, they'll say the series is one and one. That's right. Nobody will even remember what North Carolina's record was. That's that exactly point. right. That's, That's a big, big win for huge. the program. It gives these guys a lot of confidence. I mean, North Carolina's not the team that they have been in the past, but still, a win is a win. Boy, Hunter just struggling mightily from the free throw line. That's about the only place he struggled. Had a big game, 86-78. That is it. North Carolina with another loss at home. And Ohio wins it big time. For Brad Darty and our entire ESPN crew, this is Mike Patrick. Thanks for watching, everybody. The final here, 86-78 Ohio over Carolina.